Hey everyone, grab your vices, grab your tools. We're going to be tying the RS2. This is a great fly that's really popular out west to imitate smaller mayflies. I use it a lot here in Michigan for smaller mayflies like blue winged olives and sulfurs. It's really simple. It uses three main materials and it shows you some cool techniques that you wouldn't use otherwise. Let's get started. We're going to use a TMC 101 and a size 16. Now the 101 is a little bit different from the 100. It has a straight eye. I'm using 6 aught thread here with this 16. I would probably recommend you use 8 aught, but that's what we have tonight. Real important when you get started, you're going to have a tag end here with your thread. Save this. You're going to want this for the next step. We're wrapping our thread back, really minimal wraps, back to about the barb. Leave it there. We're going to use something here for the tail called micro fibbits or mayfly tails, however you find them packaged. They look like a small paintbrush pretty much. And they give you really fine, really nice tapered tails that you can use on a variety of patterns. You can use this and come up with your own thing as well trick to getting these off of here because my eyes have gotten to the point where I can't see them as well. Squeeze this tight between your thumb and index finger at the end and try and get two, three if you can, sometimes four, and then pick off what you need. Don't worry about it too much. It's not doesn't have to be perfect. Um, this is what the, pa the package looks like we're using tonight. It says Mayfly Tails, medium done. They come in a bunch of different colors, but don't worry about the color too much. I don't see a ton of variation. The one cool thing you can get is actually a barred mayfly tail from Montana Fly Company. We'll probably have some of those at the shop this year. Something a little bit different, um, but this is designed as a really subtle fly. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of flash to it um, for fun's sake, but it's really toned down. It's not designed to be a really loud, crazy fly. So grab those fibbits. You can see here I've grabbed more than I need. Try and separate out the two. Make sure the tips are at least close to aligned. And we're going to measure these to about a hook length or the shank length. And you can go even longer. A lot of our Michigan mayflies have really long tails. So don't worry about going too long. Transfer that measurement to your left hand, and we're gonna do a little pinch wrap here. I like to do two. Great. Take that tag and a thread. This is what's gonna allow us to splay these out and keep them out. Otherwise, it is very challenging. Okay, wrap that around the bend of your hook. Sometimes these will splay out automatically. A lot of times, though, I'll have to come in with my bodkin and split them. It's not a perfect science. It doesn't happen right away. And the idea here is this thread that's doubled over the bend is going to ride right between. I'm going to secure it down here with two, three wraps, and that's going to splay out my micro fibbits. Perfect, great. Wrap this up the shank of the hook. This will play into the taper of the underbody, or at least not give us any gaps to deal with. Trim that and your extra thread off. And we're gonna bring the thread back to about the point of the hook. We're gonna use some super fine dubbing. This is Adam's Gray. Adam's Gray is the most popular color for this fly. And honestly, it works for just about everything. If you think about it a lot, um, color's the least important thing with your flies. So remember, size, shape, or silhouette, and color being very, very, very last. But you can simply switch this fly to match Sulfurs to match little mahoganies just by changing the dubbing color. Okay. 
and very, very light on the dubbing on the back. And we're gonna create a nice little taper as we work up the body. Sometimes I like to wet the thread a little bit, help the super fine stick. Now you can create a big dubbing noodle here if you want, but we need to not put too much on here because we're gonna add a little wing at some point and you don't wanna have to strip tons of dubbing off. It's not an easy process. You can always add more, it's tough to take some away. So keep wrapping that up, keep the taper going, and keep checking. I like to rotate my vise and to the side profile, take a look at where I'm at. Not in a rush here. These are real easy to tie in a hurry and fill up a box in a night, so don't worry. Okay, so about three quarters of the way up, I just want to smooth out that taper just a little bit. I don't know why I get picky about it, I guess. All right, a little bit better. All right, next we're going to use some dyed pearl diamond braid for the wing here. This is a great little material using for bodies, for wings. Um, you can get pretty creative with this. It can be a little bit slippery, though. The pearl is my favorite. I think it works for almost every color you could want out there. And secure that in with three, four, five wraps and trim off the front. I usually leave this back end attached. I'll show you why here in a second. Come in, we're going to add a little bit more dubbing to finish off the rest of the fly. And here I usually wrap back at the wing. And I leave this attached so I can easily work it forward and work one behind. That props this up just a little bit more. Dubbing to finish this out. Again, turn to that side profile, make sure I'm happy with what we got. Good. Bring in your whip finisher. Three, four turn whip finish is all you will need. Turn off the excess. Now with this wing, I like to bring my scissors to the back of the body and bring this down. Trim it right there. Make sure you're tight and your tails are still attached and splayed out nicely. And you've just completed the RS2. This is a great little emerger or film fly. Um, you can even fish this subsurface if you want, but just a little dab of dubbing on that super fine and fished in the film when fish are looking up. This is gonna catch a lot of fish for you. Have fun with it, experiment with it. The standard fly uses something besides this pearl wing. Usually it's like an antron or polypropylene yarn or a sparkle emerger yarn. Experiment, you can do your own thing with this. It's free form. Have fun, tie a few of these up. I hope they work well for you. We'll see you out there on the water. Thanks for watching.